welcome you to Lawrence, Kansas on the Big 12 Now Network, ESPN Plus. And tonight, from Allen Fieldhouse, it's the seventh ranked Jayhawks taking on the Washburn Ichabods. This is an exhibition for the Ichabods, but not for the Jayhawks who come into the game two and one. Look, we realize that there isn't much normal about this game, except the fact that the Jayhawks are ranked in the top 10 again. But other than that, no fans really in the stands except for the parents of the players. That is it, a few other personnel here. Well, that's gonna change after Saturday's game. This just came in about a half an hour ago from Athletic Director Jeff Long. The Pandemic Medical Advisory Team recommends no fans through the fifth, but then starting the seventh, fans will be allowed in attendance. We're gonna give it that one week, Chris, to see what happens. It'll be capped at 2,500 fans for the basketball games. With Chris Piper, I'm Dave Armstrong. We're courtside here with face masks on and all kinds of almost hazmat suits to make sure we're protected, the players are protected, the coaches, the referees, and everyone else. We're doing what we can to bring you this game here tonight. And uh, we hope that you can hear us through the muffled uh, sounds through our headsets. And uh, yeah, they're gonna try not to show us on camera too much because Please. I know all of your friends, Chris, would have so much fun oh, with yeah. that on social They'd media. Love it. They'd love it. <laughs> well, How are you it, doing, my friend? Good, good to see you again, eh? Back here at the uh, courtside, Kansas basketball getting started. I tell you what, the, this is a, uh, a kind of a new look for a team, but Jalen Wilson last time Ooh. out, Dave, he was fantastic in the second half. I got, I'm not gonna lie, the first half I was wondering when he was gonna get going. Second half, he caught fire 21 of his 23 points scored in the second half. And this is a kid, you know, he's got a lot to play for. Broke his ankle, just running down the sideline last year on the right-hand lane, filling a, a lane and, and broke the ankle, had a, a, a red shirt last year, but he has come out strong and he's been doing the things that Kansas needs. It'll be good to see what David McCormick does here tonight as well. Absolutely, McCormick is off to a slow start so far. He's got a little bit of a banged up knee, but he wins the opening tip. The Jayhawks are in their home white and again, Marcus Garrett running the point. There's Ochai Abaji back to Garrett. And there's that lob pass in, and that works to perfection to David McCormick. Yeah, really nice play. Isolated, got a two-man game on that left-hand side. A, kind of a lower ball screen allowed the pick and roll to the basket. Nice little lob by Marcus Garrett. Let's see if Garrett can get rolling a little bit. He's turned the ball over a few more times than he normally has, being more primarily at that point guard spot. The Ichabods come in 3-0 on the year so far, and one of the reasons they are 3-0, they are a really good three-point shooting team so far. Yeah, With a little bit too much dribbling by Guyman, he loses the handle. It'll stay with the Ichabods, but they only have three on the shot clock. Well, they can shoot the ball. There's no qu question about it. The, the question is, is can they get the spacing they need against yeah. this Kansas team's length? Again, only three seconds on the shot clock. They're gonna have to fire quickly, and they do. The three-pointer no good by Jalen Lewis, and it's one and done. Brown drives in. He had a slow game offensively against the Kentucky Wildcats, but man, what, what a rebounding effort by him with 13 rebounds in that game. Yeah, and that's what you'd like to see from him. I mean, he's known as a shooter, but he, he's a tough kid. He'll get in there and do all the dirty work. You know, it tells you that he's doing what Bill Self wants. He's averaging 34 minutes a game, and you generally don't get minutes if you're not doing what Bill wants. Guyman turned down a shot inside the paint. Saw a lot of shadows behind him. And a shot from the outside by Mashoff, the kid from Ankeny, Iowa, just north of Des Moines. He missed the last game with an injury, but he's back out there tonight. Yeah, leading score last year for this Washburn team. He can light it up. He's at 18 points a game right now, but they need him on the floor. There's Wilson. He hit two big threes against Kentucky the other day that really were difference makers. And then he reaches in, Wilson, and a foul on Guyman. So the foul will go against Wilson, and it'll be Washburn's ball. Yeah, great hustle by David McCormick. He's trying to get himself going. He has struggled this, this season so far. Just a little bit out of sync. It's too sped up. You know, that, that's the thing yeah. that you saw him when he was younger, really sped up. One of nine from the floor against Kentucky. And that's mainly because of where he's catching the ball on the floor before he goes into his motion to shoot. Good rebound by Wilson. Well, he's long, isn't he? Well, he's always on the glass, too. Mm -hmm. You know, that's great rebounders don't have to be long. They don't have to be fast. They don't have to be great jumpers. You just got to do it every time. 
Extra passing, swing it around. Now inside to McCormick. And that's in and out, no good. Mash off with an air ball. Washburn a little tight right now, even without the fans in the stadium. It's still a big time game in the best arena in the country playing against Kansas. So this guy's just a little tight. I expect them to loosen up though. They can make those shots. Plenty of time now for Brown as he let Mashoff drive by. Yeah, great patience that time. Little head and shoulders fakes, gets him by. And then instead of trying to rush it, he just gets his feet set and knocks it down. If he hits open jumpers, he's gonna stay on the floor. Guyman drives in. And no basket. He touched it while it was in the cylinder, so no basket for closing. Well, you don't no basket, but Kansas is not going to accept that as, as a win right there because that play should not have happened. Just a, a soft help by McCormick. He didn't really stop the ball, and nor did he stop his man. And just uh, crossing, not able to finish it is the only good part of that play for Kansas. But a nice drive and a, and a good bounce pass. This Washburn team, I like how they keep mm -hmm. the floor spread. The shooters have gotten some looks. They just haven't knocked it down yet. Connor Defabaugh checks in for the Ichabods. Abaji inside, McCormick again. Tough to defend on that two-man game inside. That's basically the same play you saw earlier, but yeah. instead of being the ball screen, it was a side screen there for Abaji, and his man went to help him, and McCormick gets to the basket. Guyman loses the handle, tried to get a pass in the wing to Nelson, easily picked off by Brown. Kristen doing a good job of covering that baseline pass. The pass was up the floor. And Guyman missed it. He's Lucky that wasn't a turnover by Garrett. Abaji blocked, but there's Wilson. Kind of got a nose for the ball, doesn't he? Yeah, I mean, he, does. he just caught always around. He did that in the second half against Kentucky. He was just there, you know, and again, it's about presence, about being in the right spot at the right time. Well, the Jayhawks have not gotten off to a good start in any of their three no. previous games, but tonight so far so good. Tyler kind of wondered what their uh, energy level was going to be like. Mm -hmm. Playing at home is great, but what makes playing at home at Allen Field Scout great is the fans. Yeah. <laughs> and when they're not here, it's kind of like almost like a summer league game. You know, I've been doing games here since either 89 or oh, 90. I, I never know. That was a good pass by Guyman. And this is the first time I've done a game at Allen Fieldhouse, and I've done hundreds of them, that hasn't been sold out. Well, I guess it's sold out. There just aren't fans in the stand. But you know what? We're playing basketball. Yep. Garrett, three from the wing, no, and a couple of Ichabods fighting for the rebound. Yeah, and you consider that a victory if you're Washburn, getting Marcus Garrett to shoot a three from the outside. He's pretty choosy about him. Here comes Garrett after the rebound. Abaji, that was in rhythm. When he's in rhythm like that, Chris, he's deadly. Yeah, I agree, Dave. That was a rhythm three for him in transition. He's got to be able to knock that down, shot down. But you know, he's been unbelievably consistent so far. 17, yeah. 18, and 17 are his numbers. Shot mm -hmm. attempts pretty much similar in each game. He's so much better when he doesn't force it. Oh, what Boy. a nice play. Oh, man. Jason Chase Will Williams. Williams. I mean, McCormick oh. shouldn't have bought that ball no, fake, oh, but he that, did. That was not good defense, but great offense there by Jace Williams, backup center coming in. Just showed the ball, and David McCormick thought he was going to go to dinner on that. McCormick fighting for position inside. Good catch, but then has it stripped away. What a great pass. All right, we got our first time out. Good start for the Jayhawks. Up big early on. Uh, what is it? Banging. Welcome back to Allen Fieldhouse where David McCormick got a couple of early looks inside. 
This is how you run this play, and they've done it twice. Yeah, nice ball screen roll to the basket. This Kansas team hadn't had a lot of assists per game, and that they haven't gotten the ball inside as much, or have more effectively, they haven't scored it inside as much with McCormick missing a lot of shots. But this is no surprise. Brett Ballard knew that Kansas, that Bill Self would go right to get inside to get David McCormick rolling. Not surprised at that at all. Mitch Lightfoot has checked in for the Jayhawks. Also, outstanding freshman Bryce Thompson from Tulsa, Oklahoma. Booker T. Washington and Tulsa Bryce Thompson, a, a good-looking freshman. Yeah, I, I love how hard he plays. Yeah. I mean, he is in every play. The intensity is there. He plays hard on the defensive end. Mm -hmm. He's just a little sped up right now, and that's, I mean, that's common for a freshman. You come in, and you just want to do everything right, and, and he just gets sped up, but he's, he's really going to be a good one. He just has a feel for the game, doesn't he? I mean, one of those guys that... Well, he he's just, got a pretty, pretty good pedigree. He's a good, yeah, he does. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, dad, yeah. Dad yeah. played for Bill at Tulsa, and grandfather played here at uh, Kansas as well. I so. did a game that he played in high school uh, at Norm, Norm Stewart Classic in Columbia, and he scored like 35 points in that game and came over and talked to us after the game. What a, what a nice young man. I mean, very polite. I just really was impressed with him. Not just as a player, but as a person. There's a shot, no good by Nelson. Threes are not falling right now, and they're a little better defended by KU than I'm sure the Ichabods have seen so far this well, year. Well, that length, you, you know, yeah. and, and look, Kansas is gonna play small this year. They're four round one, but their version of small is a little bit bigger than Washburn's version mm -hmm. of small. You're still 6'5", six, 6'6", six, 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 at those guard spots. And that length, you come off a ball screen, you think you've got separation, and all of a sudden that hand is there. Yeah, you see it out on the court right now, Chris. They're almost a head taller at every position. Oh, nice It play. didn't matter there, though. <laughs> Guyman drills a three. You do not back off a Tyler Guyman. He is going to nail it. I love his presence on that. Just gathered himself, got patient. That first attempt he had was a little rushed that time. He got the right rhythm on it. And after a 9-0 start for the Jayhawks, the Ichabods climbing back. Thompson shot no good. Lightfoot fighting for the rebound. He's got it. And boy, another chippy that doesn't go. Yeah, I like the effort. Second yep. effort on it, still gets it. Ooh, Guyman, back-to-back -back threes. <laughs> And uh, I think those were NBA threes at least. Boy, he's got a nice stroke. Brett Ballard loves how tough he is, how mm -hmm. smart he is. He knows where to get the ball on the floor. He knows where to get himself on the floor. And that's not your answer, but Ooh. how about that? Marcus Garrett playing a little payback. And Garrett, by the way, is now three for five from three-point land this year. Yeah. That's not your first option, but he hit it. He's a senior. Decided he was going to get a little payback. It's too easy, though, for Kansas. Close mm -hmm. inside shot that Jace Williams just missed the bunny there. Rotation still not quite there yet for Kansas early. Another one for Garrett, not this time. Obaji keeps it alive, though. You see Washburn, two guys diving down on that ball when it went into the post. Going to give Kansas that outside shot. Thompson with a step through, but then had it stripped by Nelson. Nelson. That's off target. Good effort by McKee, but that won't go. Whoa, Bryce went <laughs> flying. All right, we got a timeout as Thompson comes flying in from the wing. Jayhawks still up, 17-10. Welcome back to Allen Fieldhouse in Lawrence. I'm Dave Armstrong. I'm with my good friend Chris Piper, and we're watching the Jayhawks take on the Ichabods. And again, as I mentioned, this is counting as a regular season game for the Jayhawks this year with a limited schedule. And for the Ichabods, it will be an exhibition. Going to the line for KU is Bryce Thompson, the freshman we've been talking about. An air ball on a free throw. He is now just one for three from the line this year. 
Well, I love the way he attacked the rim. He didn't attack the rim on that <laughs> free throw shot, no, though. He kind of held it. No kind of held that one back a little bit. Now the players might yeah. give him a little grief yeah, for that one in the locker that's room. That's usually the worst part of an air yeah. ball free throw. Right. And everybody has one. Yeah, nice shot. Nice shot, kid. Well, really young team on the floor right now. You got Tristan and Rune on the ball. It's yep. like for, of course, the, the veteran, but Dewan Harris out there now, Grant Foster out there. Tying Grant Foster out there, yep. And he's got the rebound. Here comes Harris. Thompson will track it down. Look at how he just glides in. Boy, nice play, and he really didn't get a good ball screen there by Mitch Lightfoot, but he was still able to just turn the corner, knew exactly where Lightfoot was on the roll. Nice job by Harris. Harris, another one of those redshirt freshmen. You think of two of the biggest impact players on the team this year, Jalen Wilson and Dewan Harris, and both of them sat out last season. A nice move inside there. Jace Williams just doing what he wants. But yeah, Dewan Harris able to practice second semester, wasn't able to practice the first semester with Kansas. And of course, Jalen breaking that ankle early, wasn't able to do anything after that. But I like the, and I know you do too, the, the look of the Kansas team when Dewan Harris is out there. Yeah, I do. Especially when that, that you know, that moves Marcus to a more familiar spot with him mm -hmm. off the ball a little bit. Now Kansas going to go small, Lightfoot going down on the bench from Jalen Wilson coming in. This is their five guard rotation. It's not my observation, it's Coach Self's observation, but when Harris is in, the ball just doesn't stick. Yeah. You know, the ball really moves. He has sort of a calming effect. You know, you just feel like, okay, they're not going to turn it over. He, he's fine. Well, he's, he's not looking for a shot. You know, yeah, a lot of right. times when you're looking for your shot, that ball gets sticky a little bit. Boy, Jace Williams, he's looking for his shot. He feels good against Kansas right now. That's clausing. Oh. It's clausing, but. Oh, that was clausing yeah, that time. Yeah, I'm yeah. sorry. They look a lot yeah. alike with yeah. the beard. They're both bearded, and uh, I can see the confusion. Of course, through our masks and our shields here, Chris Harper. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm seeing two of them. Are there two of them out there right now? <laughs> oh. We're but that was a great move. Yeah, regardless oh. if I got the name wrong. Right, right. Two three zone that time by Washburn. Jalen Wilson with a nice three. Yeah, he's got a nice stroke. I like seeing him take the ball to the basket, too. He's done more of that. You know what I liked after the Kentucky game when he just literally went crazy in that second half? Afterward, he said, I'm not surprised. And I like that. I mean, it's not cocky. It's just one of those attitudes like, well, yeah, I, I expect to do this because I know I'm a good player, and I like that. So good shot by Levi Brown. Redshirt freshman out of Topeka. Boy, Washburn doing a great job of spreading the ball or spreading the floor, making that extra pass. Yeah, that was a pass that Grant Foster was not expecting. Now, rather than look at... Uh, the passer there. He just needs to keep playing. Good hands. He's so long. Glides in for yeah. the two after the steal. Nice move. Great athlete. Played at Indian Hills Community College out of Kansas City. It's Lego High School. Mm -hmm. Don't see very many junior college transfers into the Kansas program, but shows great athleticism there. The rotation off this young oh, team, just not there. That wasn't good. Left a wide open Clausing. So Clausing making his presence felt inside. Uh, Jayhawks still lead by five. Uh, Bill Self in his 18th year now guiding the Jayhawks. 15 Big 12 titles in those 18 years, including that amazing streak of 14 in a row. Here's one of his former assistants, Brett Ballard, who played two years for Roy Williams after transferring here from Hutch Juco. And Ballard also spent a lot of time with Danny Manning when he was both at Tulsa and Wake Forest. Yeah, he, you know, he's really worked his, I mean, it's his whole life story. He goes to Hutch to work on his game, then he gets to Kansas and plays, and then, you know, he, he, he does all the little things here, ends up going to Baker uh, to start, then with Danny down at Tulsa and Wake, and now back to one of the preeminent Division II programs in the country with Washburn. You know, the, the interesting thing about, I didn't realize that Brett and I had this in common until I looked at the notes, but 
You know, he scored uh, 59 points in 56 games, which is right along the same average that I had. So <laughs> Brett and I have a lot in common How about there. that? That's, <laughs> yeah, that might be it. Uh, that's funny. Well, he's done a great job. Oh, terrific. I, and I love the way Washburn's playing right now. They are getting the ball anywhere they want to. These little guards of his are tough, they know how to play the game, and they can shoot it. And you know, oh. he, uh, the other thing about Ballard is it's always hard to follow a legend, and Ballard's done that in following Bob Chipman. Yeah, absolutely. You know, and so for him to do that and have the success that he's had is really amazing. And Levi Braun with a nice shot from the outside, just a freshman, redshirt freshman, I think, coming out of Hayden over in Topeka, close by. McCormick trying to get it back. Abaji does. McCormick. He's fouled and he'll go to the line. So some good work on the glass by McCormick. Yeah, I like the extra effort. Ochai getting inside, just not able to finish and staying with it. And that's what David McCormick's always going to give you. I mean, he's going to give you the hustle. There's no question about that. He's just got to make sure that energy's focused in the right yeah, direction. Yep. Slow down, let the game come to him a little bit, but attack the glass on the on the offensive boards and defensive boards. You know, we can see it. When you watch a game, uh, I wonder if he can feel that, you know, that he oh, knows yeah. he's sped up. He's slowed down more this year than he yeah. has in the past. The turnover by the Ichabods, who trail by eight right now. It's a few turnovers so far in the game for Washburn. Kansas mm -hmm. really hasn't done much to dictate how Washburn's going to play. Four turnovers now for Washburn. First home game of the year for the Jayhawks. And they're going to be home for a while. The next five, including tonight, and seven of the next eight are home. Nice move that time by McCormick. Yeah, better patience, slowed down. Still caught the ball just a half step further out than and he needs to, but he makes a nice baseline jump hook. Nine points for McCormick. Little fadeaway that won't go. Yeah, I think he was turning to pass, and Kansas covered it up, so he kind of had to shove it up there. Garrett turns the corner. Baji extra pass. He saw Brown wide open, top of the key, and Brown kicking himself for not nailing that one. Yeah, it's great defense by Washburn to take away the initial shot, but a good extra pass and a rare open floor miss by Christian Brown. From the left hand closing, not so much. Garrett looks like he's got a little more pep in his step tonight than he did in the last game where he was really battling some illness. <laughs> there is Wilson again, picking up where he left off in that second half. Wilson now with 11 first half points. He's making it look easy right now offensively. Mash off wide open, no. That's unusual for him to miss a wide open shot like that. He's a 42% three point shooter. Wilson that time, he got caught with nowhere to go, mash off. Nice bounce pass inside. Guyman open three, no. And a whistle and a foul. And that will, that'll send Will McKee to the line. I love the unselfishness there by Washburn on that play. You got the ball going out to Mashoff, who leads the team in scoring at 18, but he kicks it over to Guyman just because he has a little more space there, who of course is at 17. So nice unselfishness. Great hustle by Will McKee. Now, Will McKee's a Lawrence kid. He moved over to Lenexa, ended up going to St. James Academy. Mm -hmm. But Will blew out his knee last year, wasn't able to play. Redshirted last year as a junior. So he's back as a junior. Missed them both, but got the rebound. And there goes the shot clock. Yeah, 
better effort by Kansas that time. Bill Self trying to get them going. You've got to be more disruptive if you're Kansas on the defensive end. Washburn so far this game has really dictated what they want to do offensively. That was one of the few possessions that Kansas able to impose their will a little bit more on them defensively. You know, when I was watching Harris on TV on those first few games, he didn't play much in that first game. But then the next two, he played a lot. He looked a lot shorter on TV than when you see him in person. He's 6'1". Oh, nice. Look at that little touch pass. That was a thing of beauty by Dewan. One touch passing. Well, I'm not sure, Dave, but I think 6'1 might be stretching it just a little as well. But, boy, he makes a nice decision. He's got great vision. You know, he sees that play happening before the ball comes uh -huh. to him. Nice little touch pass. It's quick. And again, he, he's not the guy looking to catch the ball and, and score. You know, he's, look, he's the guy looking to make the extra pass, create the opportunity. Well, here's the line on Wilson so far. 12 points, four of five from the field, three of four from three-point range, and now one of two from the line. Well, Kansas has struggled at the free throw line a little bit this yeah, year. Yeah, they have. And right now, just 69%, which kind of surprised me when I saw the set because I thought it was worse than that. Kansas switched up how they're guarding that ball screen now, icing it, not letting them come over the ball screen, taking that ball screen away. It's confused Washburn a little bit here the last couple possessions. Harris able to get on the baseline and bumped out of bounds. And we got a timeout. So a seven, 340 left to go. First half, Jayhawks keep the Ichabods at arm's length. Who do you call to... What do you know? They, they are allowing pets... Oh, no, that's a cutout. They, they have a lot of cutouts around the uh, main level since they're not allowing fans down on that level. And the only fans that are here are family members of the players that are on the court. That's it. That'll change after Saturday's game. Not Saturday, but after Saturday's game for at least a week. They're going to allow 2,500 fans in per game. We have cutouts all over here, Chris. In fact, one behind us of the late, great Wilt Chamberlain. How about this, Dave? You know, I'm, I'm just a history buff, right? I know all the history. Yeah. Or, you, or I read it before the game. Or, the and I've lived it. You, so. yeah. yeah. But his debut <laughs> game was this day in history, debut, and he had 52 points and 31 rebounds. I remember it well. <laughs> I bet you do. <laughs> How about that, though? I mean, there, in That's the discussion, amazing. he was, 52. is, was the most dominant oh. player in the history of basketball. Uh, I yeah, mean, yeah. 52 points I'm and always, 31 rebounds. I'm always in his shocked. First game. I'm always shocked when they start talking about the greatest players. Yeah. You know, his name is never even in oh the conversation. Gosh. And I'm like, are you kidding me? They yeah. changed rules yeah. because of him. I mean, he averaged 30 points, 19 rebounds that year. Yeah. Now, he couldn't play as a freshman, so I think he would have been a sophomore. And that's the year they lost to North Carolina, triple yeah. overtime. Triple overtime yeah. in the finals. Which yeah. is when they put four guys around, yep. Will. But, yeah, unbelievable. I heard an interview a couple of years ago with James Taylor, the singer, and he said that's when he became a huge North Carolina fan, listening to that game on the radio. Really? When he was a kid, yeah. And there's a... Big three shot. pointer, yeah. big shot. Yeah, they needed something, and Will yeah. McKee provided a little spark for them. Yeah, you, you know, I kind of mapped the, uh, the each time out, and Kansas had lost the last two sessions basically, but uh, that last one they put a beating on uh, Washburn, and they've been re really doing a nice job of closing out on the guards, and that was why it was a big shot for Will McKee is out there on the perimeter. McCormick tips it in. Boy, he's having by far his best game of the year. That's now 13 points for David McCormick. Well, no question that Bill wants to get the ball in, in David McCormick's hands in a game like this to get him going. They're, they need McCormick to play well for Kansas to succeed. Good pass. Well, if you're on the backside of the rotation like Tristan and Runa was, in that situation, you are goaltender. You cannot mm -hmm. allow somebody to get to the basket. Great backdoor cut. Yeah. Well-designed so, play, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah. yeah. Well, they're so well coached, too. Fred does a great job of getting the movement, letting them know where to look, read the defense. Okay. 
Now, talking about all-time greats, the other day, my son yells at me to come take a look. Danny Manning's on doing studio. Yeah, how about that? Danny doing a little TV work now. How about that? <laughs> I was giving him a hard time today. I yeah. said, Danny, you don't like talking. <laughs> <laughs> Things change, you know. Uh, good for him. Yeah, he'll get back in the game. He, he does a great job with the kids. I learned so much just coming to the Kansas practices when he was the big oh, man coach. I agree. I, I, there were things that I remember him saying that I'd never even thought about, just the subtle little moves, of getting your feet ready before mm -hmm. you get the ball and things like that. It's just, wow, this is second level stuff. You know? yeah. as, as great a player as he was physically, I mean, he was just as great a player mentally. Yeah. Just so smart. You played with him a lot, high school and here. And, and uh, had to be one of the best teammates you could ever imagine, right? Because he was he was selfless. He wasn't yeah. he was a star that didn't act like it. Yeah, absolutely. You know, you know, it's a common mistake because I redshirted as a freshman. So oh, that's right. Know, my my senior year we won that state championship. Danny's senior year they did. Yeah, they did. Yeah, so yeah. we've okay, got to make right. sure we get all that right, straight. All right, all right, all yeah. right. Give credit where credit's due. <laughs> yeah, to my teammates, as always. Well, good to see Tristan and Aruna getting some good minutes out here. I mean, this is a kid long. You know, when you, you look at Kansas and you, you, you try to project NBA, uh, he's a guy that's got the length and the athleticism. He's just got to get some confidence out on the floor, yeah. get more involved, turn up the intensity effort, I think, a little bit. But he's so smooth. Sometimes yes. a guy like that just it doesn't look like he's right. trying hard. But I don't see why he can't have the kind of upside that we're seeing now from Jalen Wilson, right? Yeah, absolutely. Nice job by Harris rotating on the backside there. Look at him look with his eyes up. I mean, he oh. is surveying that court. Thompson, no. Oh. oh, what a rebound. Good effort inside. Didn't go, but you got to like the effort from Grant Foster. Ooh, Abaji almost got in that passing lane. Boy, just watching Tyler Guyman for Washburn, I can, I can tell why he's all MIAA. I mean, mm -hmm. he's got great presence. Boy, Levi Brown, he, he can't just better figure out where he's at on the floor. That's his third three, I think. Yeah, it is. All of his shots have been three pointers. And I apologize. Is that right? Is it Braun or Brown? Because I know Christian. Yes. Is Braun. Yep. There's Brown. I mean. Right. Christian is Brown and Levi is Braun. Yeah. Unfortunately, with Spelled the way the things are now, it's hard to find somebody to <laughs> find out how it's pronounced. Right. But however it's pronounced, Levi's doing a fantastic job. Yes, he is. Here's the mandatory use it or lose it timeout with 15 seconds to go and a 17 point Jayhawk lead. Jayhawks, by the way, let's point this out to you. You know how they broke UCLA streak of consecutive conference titles. They've also now just broken another streak set by UCLA. They have been ranked in the last 222 polls. UCLA's record of 221 goes by the wayside. That's amazing, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, the consistency of what Bill Self has done here at Kansas is just absolutely off the charts. Unreal. I mean, it really it is. Un it's unreal because unreal. You know, the great programs always have an off year. I mean, you look at, name them. I mean, they right. each of them oh. has, has an off year Always. somewhere. Duke, some, how about yeah, Roy Nelly. Williams last year? Yeah, You right. know, never thought that he would have right. an off year, and he's back on track this year. But Bill Self has just been on track. And not just consistent. here. Oh, yeah. Good, good steal in the corner. And Great job. Abaji. Nelson with two. Good defense by Abaji. That was just a good play by Tyler Nelson at the buzzer. Well, good first half for the Jayhawks. And offensively, they got things going again. As offensively, they put 49 points up on the board. 49 to 32. Let's check out the numbers from that first half. Remember, Kansas coming off a game with the really hard rims 
in Indianapolis where they shot just 30% overall in that game against Kentucky and now 53% tonight, Chris. Yeah, better inside looks, I think, for Kansas as well. Gets you, gets you a, a better number, 16 points in the paint for Kansas on that 53%. 20 rebounds against 15 against uh, Washburn. You, you like the plus five, but at the same point, Washburn six offensive rebounds there. And, you know, I like to see the Kansas assist numbers going up right now. Kansas is only averaging 13 assists a game, actually 12 assists a game, and that's a low, low number for Kansas basketball, nine yeah. assists in the first half. Gets you a pretty good look at the, the three-point line. And, you know, this Washburn team, I, I, Kansas better not sleep on them here in the second half because they can shoot the ball from the outside, and that is always the, the difference maker is, is, the, uh, is the three line. Uh, see if this point makes any sense at all. You were talking about assist numbers need to go up. The Jayhawks have had a dominant big man for a, a long time, as, as, almost as far back as I can remember. And that's easier to get assists when Absolutely. you have a dominant big man, right? Absolutely. You throw it inside and the guy's already got position and it's a layup. I mean, that's that's an easy assist right there. So there's a, that's a great point, David. And Kansas wants to have a presence inside, and they, they need that. They need David McCormick to, mm -hmm. to be that presence. But, you know, the one thing that David McCormick's got to do a better job of is, is position. A lot of times you see him catch the ball and watch him here in the second half, see how he does it. He has to make a move after he catches it to score. Yep. And what you really want him to do is, is has that position already, so all he's got to do is turn and score. And then the other side of that, too, is the Jayhawks, for the most part, have been playing with Marcus Garrett, who's not a traditional point guard. He's a hybrid guard. And it seems like they do move the ball better with Dewan Harrison, but they lose a lot of size when he's in. Yeah, you know, the... the the thing that you forget real quick is is how tough it was to guard Devon Dotson. Yes. And what happens is is now you got everybody's eyes on the floor watching him trying to help. And when he drives, he creates opportunities for the next guy. And you know Marcus Garrett could feed off of Devon Dotson breaking everybody down, and then the kick goes to Marcus Garrett. And now he could drive against a defense that's not still moving. And a lot of these guys, Abaji as well, getting more looks. Mm -hmm. uh, Azabuke inside with position because of, of Dotson. So a, a point guard who can break you down on the outside can create so many so many more opportunities that are higher uh, ranking opportunities, I'd say, because now you have a better shot at, at getting a better look at it. So I, I agree with you. Dewan Harris makes a difference for Kansas on the floor. Uh, you know, it's, it's up to him to be able to get more minutes out there to be able to give Kansas that. But then the question is, is, is who sits when Dewan comes yeah, out? Yeah, right. Because right. I mean, they've got some guys playing some pretty good basketball out there. And I think that's what's the intriguing part of this early season is Bill feels this team out to see what kind of team he yeah. wants to have out there and who's going to be in that 8-9 man rotation. You know, the, the strange thing is this is a game that's usually your first of your first two games of the year. It's an exhibition game. It yeah. really doesn't make a big difference. You know, KU's going to play to win, but you're going to get a lot of minutes and, and get, a, get a work on and give some guys opportunities, chances. Well, this game counts. And so uh, it's the fourth game of the season for Kansas. And so, you know, minutes are starting to get uh, lower and lower. Well, there's Bill Self. We were talking about the consistency of Bill and what he has done. You, you think of what he's done against ranked opponents. This one always stands out to me with Bill. Everybody's thinking, well, he pads his record against, you know, no. no they played as tough a schedule mm -hmm. as anybody. They're usually in that RPI one, two, three in the country. He's 103 and 53 against ranked opponents while he's been at Kansas, you 103 know, and 53. That, that's amazing because what they do is they go find these uh, conference winners for, for the non-bid uh, leagues, you know, where you don't, your, 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 your tournament champion doesn't get an automatic bid a lot in a lot of these leagues, but they'll go get some of these teams that are really solid teams that you, you have that the, that want to yeah. come to Allen Fieldhouse, right? And those are tough games. Yes, they are. Absolutely. Now, right now, the Jayhawks with the lead as we start the second half. Washburn with the ball first. Mashoff has it blocked from behind by McCormick. He thought he had a step, and then McCormick caught up. Kansas trying to keep Washburn from reversing the ball that time. Christian Brown got on the high side, make him drive baseline. Got the good rotation defensively. A good inbounds play. Will McKee on the back end of that. Yeah, good finish. Just able to get it up and over before McCormick got back. And Kansas late on the rotation against that 
Screen inside again. Baji look, no, McCormick. Double team was coming, good job to get it back out. Reset, and then do that. That's a tough shot, that's a tough shot, and Johnny Clausen did a great job of keeping McCormick out from getting it in close, but David doing a nice job getting that one to fall. Double team on Guyman, he doesn't panic. And Garrett, always in the right spot. Brown got caught. Little pull up jumper, no good by Jalen Lewis. Secondary break by Kansas that time, well guarded. Good defense by Guyman. He's done a great job of closing out, hadn't he? That hadn't let Christian get past him. Abaji from the wing. And another good game for Ochai Abaji. He's in double figures, got 13 now. And it's a good find by Garrett, too. Good tip away. Brown spinning away. Numbers weren't there. Good a job to pull it back. Now Garrett. Do you remember when Coach Self went away from the high-low and went more to the dribble drive, more to the two-man game? Well, when he didn't have two dominant big men. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I mean, yeah, yeah. out of necessity. <laughs> uh, he went to the two-man, or the high-low. He went to the high-low at, at ORU, and uh, that was something he invented out of necessity. Well, yeah, and, and they ran that for a lot of years, but, you know, tried to run the high-low last year with Azabuki and McCormick and wasn't very successful at it and went back to the four round one. That was the last but touch you, by Washburn, yeah. I mean, you've got to have a... a yeah. three to four man big man rotation to be able to run the high low yeah and the big men are just in short supply nowadays and the games games change too the game spread out more shooters i love the uh, uh, offense that gonzaga ran where they spread the floor they and that i'll tell you what that has got to be a painful one for bill because 102 points scored against kansas in that game by gonzaga yeah. that doesn't sit well with him at all no it doesn't and now that's a great team, too. I mean, uh, Mark Fuse put together an unbelievable program out there. But regardless. Did you see where West Virginia played them pretty close? Yeah. Lost by six or eight, I can't remember. Somewhere in there. And well, Wilson threw it in, but another turnover for KU. Well, I give credit to Washburn making Wilson catch the ball that far out. It really makes that a tougher pass, a bad angle there. Jalen Wilson just needs to move that ball. One more pass to the right wing, and now you got a great entry pass. We were mentioning West Virginia. How good is the Big 12 going to be this year? Baylor, they dominated Illinois the other day. Fifth well, ranked Illini. Tells you when Kansas isn't picked to win the Big yeah. 12 for the first time in how long? I, I can't remember. Forever. Obaji gets in the long rebound. That's a travel. Oh, and again, Johnny Clossing. I, I can't tell you how great a job he is doing defensively of keeping McCormick out of the spot that he wants. Mm -hmm. And some of that's also David McCormick. He's got to hold that position. He's got to get in tighter. You know, you, you're going to give up space offensively. So you got to get a little lower to start. And as the defense pushes you out, now you're in. You're in that uh, position you need to be, but he's just too far out for him to score effectively. Am I wrong to say McCormick almost gives up that territory easily, right? Yeah, instead well, of instead of forcing his way in, he's comfortable going back. Well, he's not choosing his spot. Yeah. You know, or he's choosing the wrong one. Baji, nope. Yeah, that's not a sh that's not a good shot to me. Yeah. Guyman gives it up. I love Tyler Guyman. I, I mean, too. I, I love too. the way he plays. He's always moving. He's tough. He can get to the spots he wants to. His problem in this game is he's just not big enough to get around these uh, Kansas guards. He's really moving well, and he thinks he's open, but he's not. And he, he realizes it. But he, he's done a great job of moving the ball. Defa ball, by the way, hasn't hit a free throw all year. He's 0 for 4 now from the free throw line. Uh, Sophomore out of Fayetteville, Arkansas. Uh, 
Well, once again, Kansas relying on the defensive end right now. I mean, because mm -hmm. I don't think they're great offensively at this moment no. in the se second half, but Washburn can't score. Yep. Juwan Harris, Marcus Garrett on the floor now together. Let's see what happens. Three-pointer good for Christian Brown. Now, Christian Brown is bound and determined to make the scouting report say never go under the screen on him because he is going to hit that shot. Wide open look from the wing is no good. Almost tipped home. Lightfoot's got it. Here comes Harris. Brown's shot a little bit too strong. And Aruna got in, poked it away from Defabaugh. Yeah. So got a timeout, 15-36, kind of a sluggish start to the second half, but the Jayhawks still comfortably ahead. Hermick off to a much better start in this game than what we've seen in the first three games of the season. And you can just see how often, uh, how hard he's working here tonight. He always works hard, but good to see him have some good results here tonight. So now we're going with the uh, smaller lineup for the Jayhawks. A iffy pass, double team. Well, it was a breakdown. Mitch. They wanted to run something out of the timeout that they didn't get into, so Bill changed it, and they still didn't get into it. I'm, I'm <laughs> not going to call anybody out, but yeah, yeah. <laughs> they yeah. just couldn't quite get the get the play figured out there. Still figuring them out. And that's where guys like Wilson and Harris have a little bit of advantage. They were here last year, so they learned the plays. They knew what was going on. And so we've got another quick timeout here. 15.06 left to go in the contest with the Jayhawks up 57-34. Jay has just been consistently good offensively this year. He's had good halves and bad halves, but his totals always seem to match up to 17, 18 points. Yeah, I, you know, he's not forcing the issue too many times and you know if he's hitting 40 to 42 percent from three oh, I think yeah. that's right where he he needs to be and he's uh, you know taking shots in rhythm he shot the ball well here tonight but he's not forcing the issue and I think that's the most important thing for for Abaji yep. take it as they come interesting lineup out on the court right now with Enaruna Lightfoot Garrett and then you've got uh, two freshmen in Dewan Harris and Bryce Thompson. There's the play they were running. And who was at fault there? Was that a little too much from Harris? Yeah, or? it wasn't a great pass. Hung on a little bit. Yep. Of course, uh, everybody on the, on the Washburn bench was yelling lob before the play even started because Bill Self well known for getting a lob play on the inbounds. Thompson did a good job of stripping the ball, but he was out of bounds when he came down with it, and so it'll stay with the Ichabods. I think Brett Ballard is stealing some of those inbounds play from Coach Self. Mm -hmm. Why wouldn't you? Yeah. Okay. Nice block by Mitch Lightfoot. Thompson had it rejected. Quick baseline move by Garrett. He amazes me. I, I, you know, watching him for three years now in his fourth year, his ability to get by somebody just astounds me. His feet are so quick. It doesn't look like he has an advantage, but yet he just gets goes right on by it. 
He's strong enough that contact doesn't bother him. In fact, he uses contact to his advantage. Do you see how he shielded away the defender there on that rebound? That was classic. You know, this is a kid that uh, was not a highly rated recruit. No, he wasn't. Coming out of Dallas. Nice, maybe get Bryce going a little bit. He's struggling a little bit this mm -hmm. a half. Got a lot of things going in his head right now as this young season, young freshman trying to figure out how to run all the plays and do all the right things. I always love it when you get to that point in the season when the light goes on for these young players where all of a sudden they quit thinking and they just start playing. Yeah, but to think about freshmen though, Dave, is that light could be on one game and can be off the next. Yeah. Or it could be on one possession and be off the next. Yeah, it's good rotation there and he just takes it right off and gets it to the basket you know and he's strong enough too i think to be able to get in there he's you know he seems a little slowed down this game the first yeah. few games i was watching he was you know a little sped up but this one he's starting to think a little bit more and sometimes that's a problem too when you start thinking rather than reacting but that last play there we just showed you it was a good reaction on the swing pass he was ready to go the minute it got to him. How much do you have to get past the feeling that because when you're in high school, you're dominating, especially when you're as good an athlete as he is at Booker T. Washington. He'd come in and score 30 points. And now at this level, he's not dominating the way he didn't. You have to get past that feeling, don't you? Well, I think they figure that out real quick in the summer, usually. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Games. It's a whole wait a minute, a little different world. But confidence is always the biggest thing for these mm -hmm. guys anyway. They don't you got to feel like you can take anybody at any time. That doesn't count because it hit the top of the backboard. Yeah, Tyler Guyman not able to get it going since those two back-to-back -back threes there in the first half. He's a good player. He'll be all MIAA this year for, for sure. This is a veteran team Washburn's got. Basically got five returning starters back now with Will McKee back after red shirt in last year with the yep. injury. Got some depth coming in off the bench too far yep and just too much distance for that shot for Lightfoot that's a good one right ah, there that's a great rebound right there that's the way just go get it twenty nine point lead now You know, just looking, the Ichabods have scored a total of four points in the second half. Yeah, they've struggled. Kansas defense has been pretty good. Guy in there had to fight hard to get to the basket. Oh, good move by Bryce, and then he let the ball slip out of his hand. See, that's one of those plays where you speed up because he was like, oh, man, I'm wide open, and then he loses the handle on a bunny. Oh, how about that? Harris with that extra rebound. Good box out that time by closing. You know, I love two things that Dewan Harris did on that last possession. One, obviously, the great offensive rebound, but it was the extra pass. It was coming from the right wing. It came to him. He didn't hesitate. That ball was hit in his hands and out of his hands on the rotation so fast. And, you know, a lot of times you'll see a guy catch the ball hesitate and then pass and that that one second is a big loss absolutely he continues to impress 63 36 yourself out of the crowd you're watching at home and your family bought you an early christmas present and donate a little money and got your cut out in there can you pick yourself out of the crowd well washburn struggling to score here in the yeah. second half you know two of their Leading guys, Drew Mashoff and Jalen Lewis, combined one for 13 from the floor so far. Mm. These two guys that average 27 points a game combined. Obviously, most of that's Mashoff. But uh, just that length of Kansas wearing them down. Good dip ball. And Kansas not happy coming out of a timeout, not executing.
And Aruna got a hand in there. It'll stay with Washburn with 14 on the shot clock. You made a great point earlier, Dave. This is the kind of game where you better be at your peak because minutes like that are coming in this game yep. aren't going to be coming very often after this. Schedule gets tighter. Somehow that got pa pass got through by Guyman again. Has no vision of the ball there for interior defense for Kansas. And still not happy, obviously. Hard to set a screen if you're the Kansas big man, if your guards don't run off your screen. A lot of separation there, allowing Washburn to get over the top of that screen. Now Bryce Thompson settling down a little bit. Nice move and pull up. Sending, this, sending the ball away from the screen again. Kansas made that adjustment. And pretty effective for it. See what happens when they don't get it. Lightfoot with a block. You know, Mitch is so long. Yeah. Probably the best shot blocker on this Kansas team right now. I agree. He's got a good knack for the ball, good timing. Well, Jethro Muscadine has checked in for the Jayhawks. The freshman from Haiti. And you ask him how he pronounces his last name, and it has very definitely a French twist to it. Muscadine or something. I don't, I don't know. That was, my, that was a horrible. That was your version that was, of French? That was so bad. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I, I'm usually better than that at accents, and that was just the worst. I'm sorry, folks. It was horrible. Step back three, and Tyler Nelson goes through, finally. Yeah, nice job by Nelson there, using that uh, presence of his big man to confuse Bryce Thompson of which way he needed to go. And Aruna, this is that time of the game where Jayhawks are going to win the game. They're comfortably ahead. It's nine minutes to go. You're not going to probably see McCormick again. You most likely won't see Garrett again or Christian Brown. So those guys are probably done for the night. These other guys now, this is that competition for that top nine that's going to play this year. Yeah. But you have to have the mindset that you go out and do what the team needs. Not that's right. An individual mindset. And that's when you start getting yourself in trouble in situations like this where you want to impress and all you're thinking about is what you're doing. The best way to impress that man, play really good defense yeah. and rebound. Yeah. And then do the team things, do little things that help the team. Don't think about, oh, I've got to score. Scoring won't impress him. What will impress him is being tough, doing the little things that will help you out, will help your teammates out. And a rebound here for Muscadine. He's got good feet. Mm -hmm. Moving well down on that baseline. Was able to help out, then get back to block the shot somewhat. Fortunately for him, the place is empty. Otherwise, I'm not sure he'd be able to breathe right now. He's sucking some oxygen already. Yeah. <laughs> when he hit those first few trips <laughs> in. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Harris came into this game with an amazing 10 assists, only one turnover. Three-pointer Thompson, that was unlucky. That was halfway down and back out. Guyman looking for some open space. Oh, and Muscadine with a block. They get him with a foul? You might have got him with a foot. I didn't touch him, but watch his leg as it kicks out on the block. Yeah, a little yeah, body. Little body yeah, good. he got him with the body. I like Guyman going in there. He was passing those shots up earlier in this half. He's just like, all right, I'm just going to go take it. You think Guyman has a ton of points in this game. He does, and that's just his ninth right there. But he does have seven assists in the game. Yeah. Well, he's got the ball in his hands almost all the time for, for Washburn. I'm with you. I like his game a lot. Yep. Yeah. All-time leading scorer at Liberty High School. Oh, no, I'm sorry. That's Jalen Lewis. Yeah. I was sitting there thinking, wait a minute. He played at Blue Valley. He played at Blue Valley, Blue yeah. Valley North. Blue Valley. Yep. 
Or is it Blue, Blue Valley? Yeah, there's Blue Valley. There's 18 Blue Valley. Yeah, it's no, hard to keep yeah, and there's a whole bunch more. Yeah, yeah they're coming. Oh, it's just Blue Valley. The original. Oh, that's a nice look there. Yeah, it was. Yeah. Good move by Tyon Grant Foster. Boy, he's, he's super athletic. Look at that that's rebound. A nice rebound. There he goes. Confusion and transition there. Too many guys in the same spot, but nice extra pass there by Dewan Harris. Who else going to make that extra pass? And mm -hmm. Thompson wide open. And Thompson now with seven in the game. Oh, good, good luck. And Mo Muscadine with a foul, and we've got a timeout. 7.20 remaining in the contest, with the Jayhawks leading at 71-42. Well, you see the Jayhawks up 71-42, and I'll tell you what, you're, you're, every time you see Dewan Harris play, you just know this guy, nope, not taking that shot. Got a wide open guy over here. Yeah, and, and he's smart because he brought the defender out on him a little bit, which late rotation on the backside for Washburn. It, it kind of froze the guy underneath who was who needed mm -hmm. to rotate to uh, Thompson. Kind of remind you a little bit. I mean, just OK, this is a dumb analogy, but uh, admittedly so. But, you know, how Patrick Mahomes can like look at safe, look safeties off of his receivers and yeah. then throw it to the right guy. I mean, how much fun is it watching Patrick Mahomes play quarterback, oh, huh? He's like one of my all-time favorite athletes, just watching yeah. him. I just love watching him play. Oh, now. I just love watching him play. And then on top of that, he's just a great guy. He's become quickly one of my all-time favorite athletes. There was on the back end, and Aruna, a little slow to react, got enough of it, but then the foul, and that'll allow Azeem Ross to go to the line. Yeah, and that's the second time they've gotten beat back door on that with the whole defense slid over. The safety valve would be in Aruna in that situation. He's got to keep that. He's got to be the goaltender and miss the back cut. Well, I was wrong, yep. Chris. I was It's not the first dead time. wrong. No, no. Yeah, no. It almost feel like Coach Self, since there's no one here, he could hear me say, these guys aren't getting back <laughs> in the game, and I'll show you, Dave. Yeah. Here they all yeah. come. Yeah, you're not coaching, Dave. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, all right. Here they all come again. Here comes McCormick. Here comes Garrett. Here comes Christian Brown. Well, you know the other thing about it, Jalen though, Wilson. Is, is, is at this point of the season, it's it's not also about just winning this game. It's about getting better. Yes. And so you use these games to get better. I mean, they, they, it's a short season as it is anyway. Short preparation, I should say. That's right. It's seven more minutes of a scrimmage, really, basically for KU at this point. So let's go show what we can do. McCormick, good, good kick out. Abaji, no. Goes out of bounds. It'll stay with KU in a fresh 30 on the shot clock. Took the backside away, trying to get the ball inside to McCormick. All right. Well, McCormick, 17 points in this game. I like it when he catches the ball with the foot in the lane. Mashoff hasn't gotten any kind of good looks in this game. And there's a three by Jalen Lewis. It's Jalen Lewis off the Ofer streak there. Good extra kick, late rotation again by Kansas. Wilson again in the right spot. And see, that's a play there that Marcus Garrett's got to be a little more selfish. You don't drive to pass. You drive to score, mm -hmm. and if the defense makes you pass then you can adjust but the whole time he was looking to get the ball over to David McCormick when he should be really just thinking about getting to the basket and that alone is going to draw the defender off and now you've got to pass 
So you just keep going to the basket until they stop you. Always look to score. Yeah. You always, your first thought's got to be score. You can't jump to pass. You've got to jump to shoot, and then you can change the pass. Because hmm. if you jump to pass and now you can't pass, yeah. you can't shoot. Yeah. I mean, you can't shoot, as well, we no, all know, no. but I'm just saying in a, in a <laughs> no. hypothetical. No, I can't. <laughs> I can't pass either. Yeah. This is a real difficult thing. That's good advice. There are you youngsters out there listening. Did you hear what Chris just said there? I mean, you look to score first, and if that's taken away, then you pass. That's really good stuff. Better screen up top. Just, you know, one thing about this, this young Kansas team right now, they do move the ball pretty well. Not always looking to be, you know, at the basket, but mm -hmm. they do get the ball side to side. They need that presence, though, uh, of McCormick inside. But at the same time, I think this team has shown it could be really effective with a five-guard lineup. Mm -hmm. We really haven't seen much of a five-guard lineup with the starting lineup. We've no. seen it with the, with, the, with the substitution pattern, but not in the starting group. Abaji. Wilson, nope, Brown, Abaji. There you go, Abaji now with 16 points. Christian Brown with another offensive rebound, and extra pass. I like that pass by Guyman. Kansas yeah. had taken away everything. He hit the open man, but in that situation, Mashoff's got to be ready to shoot it. Yes. Nothing good's going to come out of driving in against Kansas' big men there. I think Mashoff is a little out of his rhythm here tonight. Otherwise, he'd have taken that shot normally. Yeah, he just won for eight in the game. Yeah. You just got to keep shooting it. That was kicked, so they put 20 back on the shot clock. Clousing comes back in for Jace Williams. Grant Foster getting a look with this grouping. Three pointer good by Jalen Lewis. Jaden Lewis thinking, where was that in the first 30 minutes? Mm -hmm. Whoop. Brown lost control. Good block by Garrett. Kind of a hitch in that shot. Brown's got it. Another rebound for. Christian Brown, and then inside, good look from Garrett. Yeah, a little misdirection there by Marcus Garrett, making him look like he was going to swing it. Oh, I mean, just can't get that to go. Brown's wide open. Very nice, very nice extra pass by Grant Foster. That kind of shows you a little bit about his game there. He just mm -hmm. had one inside, and you're thinking, all right, I'm going to get a, get myself another one. But instead, he hits the open man in the corner and gets a three. And it's nine now for Christian Brown. Mash off? No. Goes inside. Grant Foster with a foul. And that's going to send Azeem Ross to the line when we come back. 3-0-1 remaining in this one with the Jayhawks comfortably ahead. 82.50 as Azeem Ross goes to the line. Don't forget to join us on Saturday. And again, we want to point out the game time, 3 o'clock against North Dakota State. They kind of were figuring out the starting time for that one and uh, just announced, what was it, yesterday, maybe the day before, that the starting time would be 3 o'clock on Saturday. So you hope you can join us then. 
Azeem Ross hadn't played in the first three games for the Ichabods. And uh, Jayhawks have pretty much emptied their bench with the exception of Mike Jankovic as Latrell Giselle checks in and also Chris Tian, who is now in his senior campaign. Seems like we've had a Tian in the lineup for, <laughs> for a while. What, the last decade. Giselle into Thompson. Whoa. A heck of a pick. That was a <laughs> Muscadine <laughs> with a real nice Whoa, screen. Man. Oh man. I saw him screen earlier on one of the possessions and I was thinking to myself, I think he knows how to set a screen. Mm -hmm. He's one of those guys you don't really want to run across in practice very often. Kind of wiry strong, right? Boy, he is. Nice yeah. ball up on the first time. I do like Johnny Clossing though. He does a nice job with his body. Getting underneath a little bit, good footwork. Interesting to watch this Washburn team and Bryce Thompson has done a nice job here in the second half once he's settled down a little bit. Yeah. He's shown you what his capabilities are. He's gonna be another good one. Foster looking to pass. Yeah. Good defense by Washburn closing that out. It looked like Foster had a lane to the basket. It was clamped down a little quicker than I think he thought. Mm -hmm. And he ended up trying to make a play saving pass. Good job by Washburn. Tian fighting for it. And there's a scrum tie up along with Shannon Cords. Cordes. Cordis from uh, Free State. Yeah, yeah, he's a Lawrence kid. Yeah. So Cordis does a good job there, but Kansas had the arrow pointing their way. So on the tie up, they'll get the possession. Shannon Cordis showing a little Free State High School hustle, getting down yeah. on the ground, huh? Good for him. Thompson, nope, he'll go to the line though. And a chance for him to go into double figures. He's got nine right now. Thompson, no, he's a better free throw shooter, I know. I know, because I saw him in a game, he scored 35. I think he was like nine for nine from the line. And there you go. He was 0 for two in this game until that free throw. And for the year was just one for two coming in. See what I mean? He's a good free throw shooter. There you go. Yeah. Almost had the steal there. Just a half step late. Grant Foster looking up court. Quick burst of speed got him into the lane, but no. Yeah, two straight possessions with no passes. Not going to be on the high uh, thrill list there for Bill Self. Minute left. Good move by Defaball. Okay, Josel, and that's going to be a charge. Switching out top. Tian with the rebound. Jocks can hold it if they want. 
Shot clock turned off. Oh, no. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's first points is a Jayhawk. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> and it goes. And his first steal. Yep. Is he going to shoot again? I think coach is saying that's enough. So the Jayhawks will go to three and one on the year. This is an official game as they win it 89 54. What did uh, Coach Self learn about his team tonight? Well, I, I, I think you're still learning. You can't, it, who knows what you learned off this one? Yeah. Because I. I'll be anxious to hear what he what he has to say. But you know, look, I think that uh, David McCormick uh, was more of a presence tonight. We got yeah. the ball in his hands a little bit more uh, in some scoring positions. Uh, still some guys kind of trying to figure it out. Uh, it's awfully early, uh, no question about it. Uh, overall, it's kind of one of those games. All right, let's go to the next one and, and see what happens. All right, Chris, good working with you again, my friend. Yep, and uh, and uh, don't forget, Saturday will be on the air at 3 o'clock Saturday afternoon as the Jayhawks take on North Dakota State. Until then, for Chris Piper and our entire crew from Allen Fieldhouse, the Jayhawks have four in double figures tonight and win going away. The final score, the Kansas Jayhawks 89, the Washburn Ichabods 54. Thanks for joining us tonight on Big 12 Now on ESPN+.